What's going on guys? Today we're working on Andy's Evolve again, uh, finishing it off last time we did the battery, uh, we opened up the existing battery, rewired a new BMS harness in it and sort of got all that sorted out, ready to go, back into the board, nice and safe. Today we're going to be looking at extending the sensor wires and just getting this ready to bolt back together because as you can see here, the Evolve has these P-clips. Um, these basically just guide the wire, um, all the wires there. And as you can see, if we put this roughly where it's going to go, yeah, and stick these wires. So we already, we already um, extended these wires. Um, just to make them a bit longer because they're really short out of the box. So they go there, that goes there, everything's good apart from the sensor wire. So they've got to reach uh, this spot here, each one of these, and the same for this one here. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to extend these wires basically, it's really easy to do, just need a bit of thin wire which, which I think I have. Um, extend those sensor wires and then hopefully we can do motor detection, but I'm quite pleased with the way this came out. Um, in my last video, what I didn't show you is I ended up, if I just spin this around, I ended up fitting the Unity button. I was going to try and use the Evolve button. Turns out you can't use um, a Fox box with a latch and switch, it has to be momentary. So now we have the Evolve button powers everything, uh, sorry, the Unity button powers everything on. That's all good. The BMS includes two temperature sensors, so one of them is monitoring the temperature of the battery. This one will be over here, stuck down to monitor the temperature of the motor controller. So yeah guys, uh, that's it really. We're gonna crack on, get these sensor wires extended and see if we can run motor detection. But uh, if you can hear the printer in the background, that is printing a case for this, which I picked up, uh, got yesterday in the post. It's the Tramper Wand. Very nice bit of kit, if you haven't seen my review, Go and check it out up there. Um, and yeah, that's just printing a case for it because the standard Tramper wand doesn't have a case. So we're just making a little test case there, see what happens. Right, okay guys, let's remove the battery for safety at the moment. I've just connected the wires up. They're not in their proper holders. That's okay because all we're gonna do at the minute is just concentrate on extending these phase wires. I didn't realize, but what I can actually do here is I can use Andy's, or the wire I've cut off the BMS harness. Uh, I've actually got eight pieces here, so that's perfect. So yeah, we'll be using that to extend the phase wire plugs. Soldering these sensor wires up. Uh, I haven't been recording because somebody outside is cutting their grass. So annoying. sensor wires extended so that there'll be no plugs outside of the um, enclosure and then what I've got is I've got a pair of um, the adapters, the sensor wire adapters and basically it just converts um, the, the sensor cable into the actual uh, JST that goes into the VESC. So basically what we're just going to do is we're just going to connect these up. Now again I'm not going to I'm just seeing if we can run motor detection here. I'm actually not gonna, this isn't the final config because obviously this whole enclosure's got to flip round. So this side of the vest will be controlling that motor eventually. But uh, certainly for now, we can, uh, we can just put it in loosely. Right, motors can free run. So I think it's time to download the proper Fockbox tool and see if we can do motor detection. Right guys, it looks like I've got the right version of the Unity tool, so I'm just gonna update the firmware and then run motor detection, so stand by. Let's, uh, let's get things moving, man. Oh yes. There we go. So we've measured. Measure. Please hand spin each motor to detect flux linkage. That's new to me. Could not measure the flux linkage properly, just to start parameters according to the help and try again. Why 
What? Bad detection result. Could not measure the flux linkage properly. Adjust the start parameters according to the help text and try again. Well, hey guys, I got it. You actually have to give these a real, real firm spin. And then it measures the flux linkage. I didn't know about that. I've never done that before. Let's click apply. Whatever. Finish. So I've got this remote here. This is what um, Andy's chosen. It's not what I would recommend, but. And there we go. So the remote's good. Remote works. What we want to do, we want to go. I don't know what he wants. Does he want reverse or does he want no reverse? The evolves don't reverse, I think, so we'll just go with no reverse. Right, should be working. Andy is going to be happy with that when I send him the video. They sound good as well, right? They sound good, right? See you later, guys.